in these tutorials we are going to talk about system of equations so what is system of equations to understand the meaning of system of equations let's write two equations at first equation number one three x plus two y equal to six and this is going to be our next equation x minus y equal to two so uh, system of equations if we try to define it then we can say a system of equations is a collection of two or more equations that involve the same variables so first condition is that involves same variables the both of the equations i have written here have same variables x and y and then the objective is to find values for those variables that satisfy all the equations at the same time and usually in the system of equations students need to find the solutions for that both equations are valid okay so let's say for these two equations the value of x is 2 and the value of y equal to 0 let's try to find whether them are valid with these values so if we uh, substitute value of x first term of first equations become 6 multiply 2 and second term of first equation 2 multiply y as y equal to 0 so the total term becomes 0 therefore 6 equal to 6 left hand side equal to right hand side similarly our second equations x becomes 2 as it's already given y equal to 0 then similarly left hand side equal to right hand side so this is a common solution for both of them so generally in system of equations in next tutorials i will discuss how to solve them and how to find a common solutions but in this tutorials we only want to focus on the properties and definitions so solutions we can expect from a system of equations of course there are several type of solutions sometimes there can be similar or same solutions sometimes we can't find any common solutions sometimes infinite solutions so there are three solutions which are number one unique solutions number two no solutions number three infinite solutions so this sol and a uppercase n means uh, solutions in short so when we can have a unique solutions already i give an example here these two equations equation one and two are unique solutions or consistent solutions they are intersecting at a point which is x equal to two and y zero so for better understanding we can draw a graph like this let's say this is a coordinate x and y x and y exists so if two equations let's say we don't know the equations just for writing just for understanding let's say uh, this is equation number one and another equation we can write this way we can draw this way okay this is equation number two so equation number one equation number two they both intersect a single point x and y we don't know the values let's say x and y so this kind of equations who are intersecting each other must have a unique or consistent solution for that solutions both of equations are valid so let's write a coordinate system so this is our x axis and this is y axis so in this particular case if we draw to a straight line let's say this is a straight line number one and this one is straight, uh, straight line number two so what you can see both of them are parallel so we can say number one and number two these two equations are parallel and neighbor meets so they do not have a common solutions therefore we can say no solutions and third options are infinite solutions let's draw another graph let's say this is our axis x and y so if two line just overlap each other let's say this is a line and another line they just overlay uh, yeah like this so our first line and this is our second line they represent the same in this case they have a infinite solutions infinite solution okay so these three kind of solutions can be found from a system of equations now there are different kind of system of equations based on the 
uh, grade or based on the degree so let's discuss about it the degree of a system is determined by the degree of the highest power term in the equations let's write an equations we'll talk about degree of equations or degree of a system so we write these equations 2y equal to 12 and another equations 4x minus y equal to 5 so as we already learned in our previous tutorials about the degree we can easily find the degree of these equations for first term of first equations the power of variables is 1 and second term of first equations the power of variable y is also 1 so the degree or the grade of the equation is 1 or simply we can write 1 degree okay and the second equations also has the degree 1 for both variables in this case we can also say the degree is 1 so if we consider a system out of only these two equations then we can call this system of equations is linear okay or we can say fast degree system fast degree system now let's talk about next type of system based on the grade which is quadratic system so what is quadratic system let's write two equations once again x square plus y equal to 10 and other equations twice x plus y equal to 5 so for these two equations if we consider another system in this case we can see the first term of first equations has power 2 and second term of first equation has power 1 so maximum power is 2 of these variables therefore the degree of these equations is 2 and for this case the degree for both variables is 1 therefore 1 the maximum degree must be considered remember not the lowest one always the maximum degree so in this case this is called quadratic system so only one equation gives higher than 1 means 2 and we call it quadratic system so this is the minimum requirements we can define this way at least one equation in the system has a degree of 2 meaning the variable is squared what if instead of first equation we write this way x y plus y equal to 10 in this case what is the degree of equations so the first term we can see in the first terms there are two variables x and y and both of them has 1 and 1 the power is 1 and 1 so the degree of this term would be the summation of this power so which is 2 and the degree of second term is 1 so still the degree of these equations is 2 okay so for understanding the degree of equations and of a terms you can check out my previous videos i discussed uh, i discussed already in details so if you watch them you will understand so uh, for today i think this is enough if you have any questions let me know in comment sections i will try to reply you so best wishes and see you our next tutorials